Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes when using different controls, it'd be useful to have some different interfaces depending upon what you want to do. For example, if I go to HSL here, um, if I want to change the color of this police box here in which Doctor Who travels regularly, I can click the blue and change, go up and down here and change the color of that. Uh, the background's a bit yellow, so I might click on that and change that to a bit more of a you know red color or something like that. So I can play around with these things. Um, and you pick, first of all, you pick the color and then you pick the hue, saturation and luminosity. Sometimes it'd be better to start with and say, I just want to do some hue work and then change the others. So we're going to do that very easily using a macro. So I'm going to go to the uh, view studio and the here I've got library and macro on but I've got shortcuts here I can click them on so I'll do that with the library then I'll do a shift m to put in the macro as well. I'm going to start off here I'm going to start myself a new little group by go to the little thing up here click on that create new category go down to this one here and say rename that and I will select that and say Super HSL. And you'll see why shortly. Now we're going to go to the macro. I hit the record button. And I'm going to do a very short recording here. There we go. You can tell it's recording because there's a, that goes that the red goes dim and the stop goes white. Now all I'm going to do in here is introduce HSL. And then I'm just going to move something a little bit and move it back again. And what that does is that gets this second layer going, which you can, if you go back, replay that bit, you'll see that when I change that, this one appeared. And that's all I want. So I can just stop the macro now. And I can get rid of this. In fact, I can hit delete if I want to. Because, and you'll see what the, th the thing is now, if I go to this set adjustment parameters, it lets me offer the you when you run the macro which of the controls you want to change when you run the macro not just in, in the macro itself and look at all the ones we've got so what we can do i could do one just for hue so if i click on just the hue ones here on each of the colors and i've got the primary and the secondary colors here like that so it's going to show these but not show the others when i run the macro. So we can try it out like this if I click on the play button and look what happens here. I've got the colors here. So the blue hue, there's a slight difference with this. If I just drag it up and down I don't see the change immediately. I have to let go. But I can easily click uh, you know, at various points to try and adjust that. And then I could hit the yellow go up and down a bit again to where I want it. To go. So I can play easily here with all the different hues. And you know, I could apply that there and that will put in the HSL layer. But what I can do now, I can go over here and put this in the library. So I'll say add to library. The category is the super HSL. So I'll say super hue. Call that OK. Now what I can do is go back to the macros. I'm going to change this. Go back to the edit there. Turn off all those first. The goats, they're all off. I want to turn on the saturations. So look down, saturation, saturation. Here we go, each one of those. So I've got all the primary and secondary ones. And now I'm just going to save that to the library straight away. The category is Super HSL, and I'm just going to go here to Super Saturation. Okay, so let's put that one in here, and then go back to the macro, do the same thing again, turn them off. And then put on the luminosities. 
tend not to use luminosity very much. The most common thing to use in HSL is saturation, but we'll do them here for completeness. And so we'll go back then, add to library, category super HSL, and call that super luminosity. Okay, there we go. Notice the names here are kind of scrunched up on, on the left here. I think that's a bug. I'm going to tell uh, Affinity about that, but it doesn't matter for our purposes here. It's not functionally problematic. But now we've got a library with these in here. I can click on here and export it and save it as a file if I want. And I'm going to do that and I'm going to put it down below for you to connect to. And now I can go here. I can take this one off here, for example, and let's just use one of these. Let's do the super saturation. Up this comes here. And I got the blue there. Maybe I want to turn down the saturation of the blue. Or maybe I want to turn it up. Let's, uh, let's sort of emphasize that. Yeah, there we go. We'll turn down the yellow saturation so it's it's not as obvious in the background there. And the red of that sign, uh, I don't want that to intrude so much. I'm going to turn that down a little bit too. There we go. And then I hit apply. And it's just applied the HSL layer. I can always go into this HSL, of course, and go to those each of those. So the red, see, is already done here. The blue is where I changed it to and so on. So it's still there. I can go in and rechange it. But it's a very quick way of doing that thing where you just get all the primary and secondary colours for hue, saturation and luminosity. So there we go. Hope that was helpful and thank you very much for watching.